Welcome back to Let's Play Deathmark. Now, it was in the previous recording, I can't remember which part, but I said, like, you know, H City stands for whatever uh, Axis game is based in, but no, that, those were the translators. I'm not sure if it even shows in the intro the name of the developer, but the developer is uh, Experience Inc. And I looked up where they're from, it's like, okay, so they, they live, or at least work in, this city in Tokyo, and that's what the H stands for. But I have already forgotten what the name of the place was. I'll put it on screen if I remember to. <laughs> so, when I uploaded the uh, previous parts, notice a comment on the second part of this Let's Play. I mean, it's kind of strange because YouTube doesn't show it. It's like you click on the video and it say one comment, but there's no comments. The only way I was able to check the comment is because like, I got a notification for it. But that comment pretty much, I mean, I wonder if maybe that's why YouTube is like, You can't just say that! That's messed up, man! Out of context, well, even in context. How could you? How could you choose? For this kid to die. Well, I mean, I don't know. So I had to uh, play for it all again. Didn't take too long. It's only the first chapter you can skip for it. But uh, yeah, gonna see if Sukasa can die. And you know, since we're here and all, I thought we'd you know, I'm part of it, right? Just, you know, get to know him before the inevitable. Or, you know, in a worst case scenario, it ends up being like, no, you can't actually have him get killed off, so. I mean, it'd be weird if that's not the case, because there's another character in the game that maybe is two or so years older than him. Possibly. How old, how old is the character? Uh, It doesn't say. I think he's supposed to be 10 years old or something like that. But there's another character. And I remember when I saw Manly Badass Hero, it's like, you had three options in that chapter to go for a character to kill off. And you went with the kids? <laughs> it's like, it brutal. Didn't do that for the first chapter though, so this is going to be interesting. Hey, wait! This is the same dialogue as before, Miss Moby is gone. I forget if there's a conversation on the way there. Well, you know, I think. Probably the majority of players of this game, when they got to this point, they were like, I'm going to tag along with Machina, he's more interesting. Let's go. Scouts are not silently and steps forward. It's like, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Then again, um, when he's in danger, his true egotistical, self centered nature peeks through. And it just makes me wonder with that, because maybe that's just left over from what his original character was going to be like. Because that implies maybe he's going to screw us over at the last second. Like, no, only Moe can deal with Panahiko. When the going gets tough, Tsukasa gets running and we get killed. I don't know, because I've never actually tried this before. I forget where we even start on the second visits. Um, <laughs> it's a problem. We even gotta get the chap two in this part. I don't know. Oh yeah, we need the key. Seeing them like this, are those really all that pretty? When you look close, it's scary. You haven't even been here before, huh? What's that? This guy suddenly speaks up. Where? By the window. See over there, some sparkling. Window, all I see are rose vines. I may as well check it out then. 
This time, let's do this the proper way, shall we? Oh, wait. He had dialogue. That god from before, did he drop that? Maybe. Check it out with a tool. But the vines are in the way. No need to, you know, prick your fingers. Makes some effort, but I finally managed to reach the metal objects. It's, it's funny, isn't it? It's just like... These are two different, like, alternate kind of, you know, uh, worlds here. In the first one, the main one, you know, everyone's going to live in that one. But he pricked his hands, his fingers, on that. The one where multiple characters are going to die, he didn't. So, what a prick. <laughs> These will be extremely useful. We can get into places where you... Because it suddenly cuts off mid -tent. It's wrong. Uh, nothing, I just forgot about what we say. Anyway, let's keep looking around. I will laugh if this ultimately leads to a game over. Because that would just be hilarious. Just be like, oh yeah, you thought you could kill him off? No, you can't. One of talisman. I think I might have picked up a talisman I overlooked previously in that burnt out room. I can't remember if I got that or not. This kind of pathetic research normal at other schools. I'm always jealous. Well, that's just rude. I didn't get to read that. Oh, uh, here we go with that again. What's he going to? What's he going to be like as an adult? Well, uh, in this scenario, he's not going to live to be an adult. It's kind of fucked up, but hey, I was originally going to go with Moe, but you know, ah. Uh, the comment that isn't even visible for whatever reason. Did I assume they meant this one? They just said, you know, if anyone's has to die, it should be the kid or something like that. Maybe that's why it doesn't appear. Maybe YouTube really was like, hey, that's a fucked up thing to say. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, YouTube was like that. That's horrible. How could you say something? How could you want me to die? Well, I suppose no one else is watching that. I don't particularly mind. You shouldn't need research to figure that out. It could have at least studied why coral becomes bleached. Lazy bastards. Is there something inside? I think it's such something cold. There's some water left inside. It's just water. For some reason, Scus looks disappointed. <laughs> so, I guess that's one thing he hasn't come much today. He's like, oh, how disappointing. I was expecting something more interesting. Like, maybe acid and your fingers start to, like, burn off or something. It is an aquarium, after all. There's enough water left inside and I can sweep it up if I have a container, which I do indeed have. You're not going to drink that, are you? Yeah, I'm just gonna add salt to it, you know, and I'm just gonna chug it all down. Why well, pick something like that up? At least it seems so now, not like that accomplished anything. But what's this doing here? I have an idea. So, though, what's the point? Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. The blood denies him. What's the matter? Give me a second. Plan is forming. Whatever. What are you, squall? You aren't seriously planning to use that for something, are you? I'm not sure. If, if you screw me over in this, Tugasa, that means you're just like, you've got plot armor. I get the feeling that everything is here for me. 
But you know, considering all a young character can get killed off, I'd imagine, you know, he'd probably potentially get killed off too. I ignore a look of suspicion from Sagasa by studying the flashlight in the hand. Maybe it's a case that's like, no, Moe is the only choice, so that's why she's like there all the time when you get to that point, because nobody else can handle it. Nothing else here. Where am I going? I didn't pick up the... the talisman from here. Let's get that now. Didn't need it, but might as well get it. Wait. Be the other side now, right? So I was going the right way. Typical. Um, I haven't needed to attack me, have I? Oh wait, yes I have. Never mind. Here we go. Pretty sure Scus was on my other side. It's time to live or die. It's just an illusion. Except not really. I turned to Gus and opened my map to tell them. Not you, Scusser! You've turned into a different little boy. With blood. It's your terrifying face in the darkness. It's coming for you. Pray. Then, what are you doing? Mr. Gus's voice, the figure vanishes. I myself standing in front of the door. Bye. But not for long. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. Mr. Gus picks something off my left shoulder. This is... hand I felt grip my shoulder. It's actually a rose ball. More importantly... Scarsa, what's the matter? You're acting kinda... Huh? Something's wrong. He's not acting normal. He's not acting as, you know, sarcastic as you. He does amnesia. My heart pangs is worried. Scarsa's facing that because the mark's curse is progress. I don't understand. I'm still safe. It makes sense, because, you know, let's go. Maybe I'll edit that out, just in case it might sound like a spot. Right. Just a shuffle is forward like a zombie. It's seriously wrong. It's bad. The danger crept up on us so quickly. We're running out of time. This condition might get worse. It might get worse than you think. I'll figure something out. Yep, we're here. Time to uh, wait, no, it's uh square. As you can see I made a second save file here. This will be for the, you know Well not necessarily everyone dies right because you can't kill off every character. I mean you get the option. I mean some characters can't die regardless, but you know, at least one character can die per chapter. 
Funny thing is, to get the bad end, all you need is to get uh, one character killed. That's all it takes. Changes the epilogue a bit, though. So, like, when I played through it, I, like, got the bad end of the final chapter. And so, that's the only one that died. And in the epilogue, the characters that survived, their fates seem to be a bit different as well. It's not like they died as well, but it feels like a character's death also impacts the other characters in some way, I feel. Maybe that's the case. So it'll be interesting with, like, a character dying in each chapter, how it would impact the other characters in the long run. I examine everything, even though I don't really need to. This is still replying to me. Complete seconds. We can't keep going like this. Move, come on. I actually have gone through this part of the game, I think, with Sugasa before. But like I said, I haven't had him get killed off. It's time for the last stand. Three will enter, two will exit. Grabs Gus's wrists and chase apples. What's this? This is where you were. He points at her strangely amused. I guess, much like Master, they're just like, haha, isn't that peculiar? Strange. Seriously, those clothes must be incredibly tight. Well, even that doesn't make sense, does it? She looks like she'd be flat-chested. It doesn't really... It's just... The artist must not have collaborated much during the work because it's just like it doesn't make sense. And it's not the only case in this game where there'll be a character that, you know, doesn't appear particularly, you know, fast but then on a CG it's like, wham! It's like, what the hell? Where the hell did you hide his nose? He's here, how did he go nose? There's nowhere to hide, we all die here. I look at Moe's ass and their eyes are unfocused. Well, Sugasa's eyes always kind of have this kind of unfocused look to him. He always looks like he's just kind of like... <sighs> I hate life. <laughs> Meanwhile, Moe's eyes are like, I'm gonna stare into your soul. Believe in the heart of the gods. Oh yeah, I've actually faced Hanahiko with Gus as well. So you can't go through this, I just wonder if you can go through the uh, very final bit to get the bad version. Grab them, shake shoulders and yell. Get it together, man, there's nowhere to hide. We have to 
go. Come with me. If you want to die, how do you go? Uh, how do you go is not the person wearing a top. It makes a big sound, but that's good. Going to release him from his curse. Well, we're not going to do it very well, but... <laughs> and he goes staring at Tsukasa. Hey, they are the grown up. Fine, only big people die, okay? You know, what if, what if you were like, uh, you know... It was a film like that, wasn't it? It was a star in Robin Williams. I'm not sure if it's a real condition in real life. It might be. Where you kind of age way too quickly. I mean, what if it was... I mean, could you imagine using that? Just like, he looks at it like, no, we're on Adams. We have that, we just age really fast. You even got a stubble going. Hell. Well, you know, good growth facial hair when you're in your teens. Not much, but it's just like it's like I just have a really old face because I I'm just so done with life already. Small sharp objects. Mist. You won't be a lucky bitch. Let's do this. Let's do this the wrong way. What the heck is that thing? That umbrella is in my way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till he gets close enough and throw seawater at him. Soft water. Then I'm gonna shove a flare in his ass. Well, not his ass. I forget. Probably that giant eyeball. I forget where he shoves the flare. Is it close enough yet? It's kind of red, but it's not red. I'm not sure, you might not even need to use the salt water. You only have one chance. Got some lights to flare on fire. You like flare and shove it into Hanita's chest. In case it's a chest. Man, Scassus didn't even hold back. He's like, yep, let's do this. His body burst into flame as his face twisted. Yeah, if you see a ghost go that way, you know you're fucked up. Eventually he turns to ash, blown away by the wind until nothing remains. I'm actually gonna start chapter two with, uh, you know, this save file because, you know, things play out differently sort of if a character dies it doesn't really make too much of a difference in the long run because they just they get over it pretty quickly but now there might be a comment the next day about it I don't sense Hanako anymore we won didn't we yeah kind of hard to believe but it looks like it did I just wonder what kind of stupid way Sukasa is gonna be like is he I mean, I should know this. I played through it when, like, Tsukasa was the partner, so he probably did go back in as well. In that. I can't remember how it played out. Mr. Look. My mark disappeared. Tsukasa excitedly flashes his left hand. It's true, the mark is gone. What about yours? Oh yeah, my right hand. 
still there. My mark looks exactly the same as before. Why? Why isn't it going anywhere? Why isn't it going away? Sorry, mister, but you're facts. It's like, no, you are facts, Gasser. You, uh, got the unlucky... Well, there was only one comment, you see, so... Uh, it would have gone with Moe, otherwise. It's almost gone. Am I going to die? No, but he is. Ah, I found you. I started feeling better all of a sudden, and then my mark was gone. So you beat him, right? Yes, but his mark hasn't vanished. Let's head back to the mansion. Mary might know just a thing to do. Yes, you're right. Let's go, mister. This guy sort of leads me, leads me away. So going to be like, oh no, I dropped my credit card that my mommy gave me. Huh? So guys, this is my spoken thing. It's so stupid. I will say though, the next chapter, while it makes it very obvious the point where a character gets killed off, it's not something stupid like this. It's something that actually seems natural. I don't have my house key. Oh, you dropped your house key. Okay. Did I drop it somewhere earlier? His, gla uh, his glance, shouldn't it be? He glances back at the school. Wait, his glance back at school is dropped. Okay. Read the rest of the sentence and it makes sense. There's no time for that now. After all, you could die. Well, uh. You should be more worried about yourself there. Go on. Huh? Just make sure you're back in five minutes. Go, get me. Okay, I understand. I guess it's the same regardless which character you partner with. They have the uh, color of the text wrong. Gus runs back into the school. Jeez, you do know we're in a big hurry. I wonder how much there's going to react to this when we get back. Gus shrinks in the distance until they disappear inside the a blindingly cold wind whips past. It's coming from the school. That's not normal, especially for the start of summer. It's weird, isn't it? It's all ominous. Last time we went through this scene, nothing happens. Everything was just perfectly fine. But you know, now that we've vanquished Hanahiko the wrong way, that ominous wind is going to be a bit more ominous. The wind dies down, and out of nowhere, I get. That feeling should have let Sugasa go back inside. Five minutes pass. Sugasa isn't back yet. I mean, it would be kind of hard to find a house key in a place like that in the middle of the night, pitch black. What's Sugasa doing in there? You better check. Step inside and go down the right hallway. Make it all the way in front of the room where we fought Hanahiko, but I don't see Scus anywhere. Strange, just should be the place. And this right here happens every time you screw up. It's pretty much just like, yep, things are about to go down now. Mark Frobs again. I feel a presence down the hall. We're not gonna get any brutal CG on him like that. Ooh. I hear something over by the mirror. I better go check it out. Oof. The mirror is stained scarlet. A necktie lies in a sea of blood. That looks familiar. Like... Sukasa. I only have vague memories of what happened after that. Mo and I both let out angry screams and dashed out of there. You know, in the sequel, uh, Spirit Hunter NG, there are CGs for the deaths of characters. Like, except for Amanome, which is one of the main characters. Everyone else, well, 
Aside from the protagonist as well, the protagonist and Aminome, they're the only ones that get only one CG for a death scene for their character. Everyone else gets two. So, you know, there's a bit more variety there. We don't really get any kind of death CG, I don't think, in this game. Next thing I know, I'm back at the car, like I've been trying to escape. That would be pretty damn brutal, though, right now. If uh, there were CGs for the characters' deaths, because Jesus Christ. You'd be like... But then there's this one CG in a bad ending in the sequel, where it's, like, quite brutal, given this, like... I mean, all, all most of the CGs are brutal, but, you know, there's a certain character that you'd expect wouldn't be shown in a CG dead, but it does. And it's like, holy shit, they actually did it. You see, my box vanished like it never was, so things must have gone well, huh? Glad to see you found Moe, too. You're frowning, what's wrong? I don't see Sukasa with you. Nothing happened to him, right? Hanahiko killed him. What? Nani, tell me what happens. I'd love to know that myself. This mark hasn't disappeared either. I have no clue anymore. Hey, mister. I'll tell him all the details. You hurry and talk with Mary. It doesn't change the dialogue all that much, really. There's like a little bit of like acknowledgement of what happens. But then it's kind of, you know, forgotten. And then, like, when you get to the end of the game, the epilogue does also acknowledge it. It appears that you overcame your fear and destroyed the spirits. Like, proper destroyed, but there was a victim. I remember in Manly Banner's hero, because he, he must have only killed a character, get a character killed off, and then, like, reload keep going so it's not a consistent thing with each chapter. Can't remember if Mary... I think Mary says like after the first one and maybe I acknowledge there was another victim rather than just saying a victim. Yeah, we beat Honey Goats. What happened to Sukasa? Unfortunately, the spirit's festering grudge was not cleared away. That grudge then stole the life of one who killed Sukasa. So the spirit got revenge. Only grudges killing people would be impossible, but why was only Sukasa killed? With that kind of logic, I should have been. I can offer a logical reason. The vanquished spirit could only affect those it gave the mark. In other words, your mark was likely not given by Hanahiko. I mean, the, the spirit could have killed us anyway, you know? <laughs> But I'm um, suddenly lightheaded, the world fading. I'd risk my life during that investigation. It's completely useless to me. I guess all that's left is waiting for dawn of my death. This is probably all the same now, I think. Any other. <laughs> it's like it's so quiet. Don't have my fan on. Just a ticking little clock in the game. I can hear the bloody cat snoring. Yes, 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 you bear a mark from a different spirit. And they love to, you know, put their victim through hell before they eventually finish them off. Yeah, they should be different. Thanks so much, seriously. If you hadn't been there, I probably would have been killed by Hanhiko. But, Skatsa and you, I don't really feel very happy. Well, I'm gonna bet. This <laughs> is just like. Yep, got over that pretty quickly. I'm gonna bed. Good night. I think I'm heading off myself. You're just hoping sleep helps me forget all the horrible experience. All oh, right, you have this. I'm not even gonna acknowledge the little shits. See, ya. not even gonna talk about Scarsa.
they must leave. Ah, that made me choose a different choice. I certainly hope so. Doesn't bother you at all, apparently. Marcel's unblinkingly at me. You could just be extra relating it, but it seems like she's thinking about something. Now then, Lord Yashiki, it will be for, uh, the best that you take your rest as well. It's fine when you are ready. Oh well. So. No! Don't do that. Ah, I hate this bloody control. It's annoying. It doesn't show it's fake yet, but it will once we get the chapter. Blah blah the the blah blah backstory info. I mean what else would we have to do? I'll save, I guess, and look at files. Chapter one, Hanhiko and All night greets me. It's been three days since the investigation. <laughs> it's like time skip. And not one glimmer of hope for me. Time battles by his death draws ever closer to claim me. A mark that brings death. The only way to escape it is to defeat the spirit that gave it to me. But I have no clue where that spirit is right now. Maybe things will be different if that specialist Sayakuja was alive. Knock breaks my train of force. How long are you planning on sleeping? You're pretty relaxed for a guy who could die soon. The ex detective Satoru Mashida. The other Mark Bearers left the mansion, but he stayed behind. It's like the other Mark Bearers, who was only Moe who just died, but the dialogue is still the same. I hope it's cause. What? Ah, oh, yeah. I was wondering, it's because I was talking about Scars, and it's like, wait, what? I guess she asked him to help as he was leaving. She went against Sayakucha's wishes by doing that, but it seems it was for much. But I don't know about Master. Even if he was that stay, he has no reason to agree. What's that look? Not happy I stayed behind. Now, if Sagasa was still alive here, you'd get the option to say, I prefer, you know, Moe or Sagasa. Cut that out, it's creepy. Flatter me all you want, but I won't forget you drove about a license. He's got a bad mouth, as usual. His true intentions aside, I have to say I'm honestly grateful for his help. Amnesia could hit without warning, so I can't go out whenever I want. He's been going around gathering information in my place. I saw some people from the force. Still no ruckus over HL me. But wait a second. That guard went missing. This company should be notified. That company is exactly the issue. It's run by yachts of thugs who have their eyes on the labor department. They don't want the police involved. Plus, in a shitty company like that, people up and walk out all the time. Amishida, that's what's his name. Everyone thinks he up and splits. I hear that's why they're having a hard time finding a replacement. If you didn't know the school was haunted, it'd just be an old abandoned building. Government wouldn't need to rush to find a new guard. The man lived alone, so a missing person's report won't be filed soon. School most likely won't come under suspicion until then. That's it for my report. You kept a lot of ground in a short time. Ex-detectives sure are handy. Did you bring up the mark or spirits when you were asking around? Do you think I'm an idiot? They'd be calling, uh, calling the looty bin. Even if the kid or I did bring them up, who'd honestly believe us? I waste my breath. Zasperity shrugs. Searching the mansion was on you, so did you find it? I came up blank as well. Though I've only gone through half so far, and some of the rooms were locked. Stuck without a wallet. Like you'd wait for something like that. I swallowed the words before they came out. Oh yeah, Mary's asking for you. You should get going. I'm not sure if the dialogue's any different here. <laughs> I was thinking maybe that I acknowledge that Sakasa died. It's like they've already gotten over it. 
Mary is sitting grimly on the couch, the same as always. It appears you are having a difficult time with your investigation. I do wish I could be of more use. I know you can sense Mark Paris. Can you send spirits too? If they were to come onto the grounds, I believe I could. Yes. That doesn't sound particularly useful. Do you have any other abilities or powers? Indeed. I can view the vague shape of the course of a person's fate. Like predicting the future? Oh no, nothing quite so extreme. It's more akin to fortune telling. It may or may not come to pass. I guess. That's why what you predicted earlier didn't actually happen. Did Mary tell you so? The truth you're seeking can be found here or some such. Like a fool, I fell for it. So convinced. I'm such an idiot. A loud knock sounds at the door. Mister in the dead of night. Mark bearer. At the door, the mist strides in. It's a shady looking young man in a uniform. Delinquents these days tend to wear. He smirks at me, clearly feeling superior. This place Kujo Mansion. I got business with some side chick. No way you're her, huh? Narrows his eyes, staring suspiciously. I am, sire! Don't, 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 uh, ain't, uh, uh. I should have. <laughs> oh no, don't hand this off to me. I'm horrible with kids. They never dared put me in charge of you. You guys know her, huh? Yeah. Don't care which one of you it is. What do you, what do you, what do you hear me out? Don't acknowledge the cast death for it. Introduction to Quick Mega. His name is Sho Nakashima, and he is one of the potential candidates to die in this chapter. The other being, uh, good old Mashita. So, those, those are the options this time around, by the way. That's the reason Mashita survived the previous chapter. He was technically unkillable in chapter 1, because he couldn't do that. In this chapter, you know, he can die, essentially, if he wants. So it's him, or the, uh, show, I guess. Show or mash. Those are the, the options. As you guess, he's got a mark. Rolls up his right sleeve to show us, and yep, the red mark is burned in. Gold Freak Friend sets him. Like, gives you amnesia. Really? Yeah, that's right. I can't even remember I feel it. If I recall, this is a kind of lengthy chapter. I'm not sure, though. Maybe I'm just thinking that because the area we're going to be exploring is... Well, it's not the biggest in the game, I don't think. There's one that might be bigger than that, but... It's much bigger than the school was, at any rate. You're kind of too calm for all that. Bet you pulled a fast one on me. Like great, but that reaction is normal. But he's not going to believe the rumors, and he had no reason. Why is he here then? Haha, <laughs> rumors are just that. Amnesia are dying to some mark. That's comic and craziness. Every word of it is true. Oh, wait, no, that was Master. Wait, no, not Master. Every word of it is true. That was probably Mary. Yeah. Was that a girl's voice? There is a saying, the truth is stranger than fiction. You have entered the Twilight Zone. There are two sides of the same coin. Mary begins explaining. I'm sure she figured it would be the fastest way to convince him. You got some damn speaker set up somewhere, don't you? I don't take kindly to threats. I don't take kindly to your type around here. And what is that type? The middle-aged sort and the... Sentient talking doll type and the ex detective sarcastic guy type. He peers closely at Mary. Such a. Uh, me oh, that's her, of course. Such a mechanism does not exist, Lord Cho. No way! He yelps pathetically, his eyes wide, and suddenly falls flat on his ass. 
seems that despite appearances, this punk is terrified of ghosts and monsters. You know, interestingly enough, that Amino no make actor I mentioned, he's kind of a similar thing. He's a bit more fleshed out, well, more fleshed out in the show in general. But he has a similar thing where he's like, uh, he's basically the son of a Yakuza boss. He's like, you know, kind of, it's like he's not like a tough muscular kind of thing. He's more the manipulative kind of sort. It's just like, you know, threatens people and shit like that. But he's, he's good friends with the main character in that. But, you know, the one thing he cannot stand is biggest weakness, anything paranormal. Scares the shit out of him. He does not like it. So fact is likely a cover. After that, he meekly pays full attention to Mary as she speaks. Listens quietly, his face pale as she tells him about the mouth and face. By the time she finishes explaining, his face is devoid of color. Now, Lord Show, have you not already experienced the beginnings of memory loss? I don't think he's used to marry yet. His face is rather stiff. Well, he's only got two facial expressions. Look at the dude. Memory's already been crap, so I thought it was magic things. That'd be me. That was just like, my memory's shit, so I didn't really notice a difference. But then it started getting so bad that it was just ridiculous. I got this cult friend here. Yeah? Told him about my scar. Mark. And he scared the shit out of me. Showed me an article that said it was all that scar to be so now I'm here. Oh, I mentioned seeing an article by Sai Kujo in a magazine. So cause some monster. What the hell? This is crazy. Why does this have to happen to me? Not believing it is normal. But if you don't, you'll die. In fact, one kid already has. Oh, you're actually acknowledging Sakasa's death. Okay. You think I did go through this cool scene just so we can get that acknowledged? If you don't want to kick the bucket, figure out how to get the mark. No, how you got the mark. Is that what he said? Yeah. Even if your memory's gone bad, you should at least remember that. I'm not that far gone, thanks. I'm positive I got it in the forest by H. Castle. I know it. I mean, it does have room about the place being cursed. We should probably ask him some more, more about it. Forest? It's far as west of the city. Wait, doesn't everyone know that? You kids do. But I've lost my memory. Maybe that's why I don't know about it. Places in the city's garbage dump. A bunch of nasty rooms about it. There's legal industrial waste dump in there, like, all the time. It's not just objects either. They say a black car once dumped a young woman's body there. A new mother strangled her kid there because she couldn't take care of it. There's tons more rooms like that, whether well, or not any of them are true. I heard some of those too. I had the lost kid who was eaten by a dog and they only found his torso. Or that a murderer hides out there and kills anyone who gets near. Two of them happily exchange stories. Apparently while he hates ghosts, he's more than fine with this kind of stuff. The same with Amanome in the sequel. He's like, he's fairly fine with all the grisly details. But if there's anything paranormal, he's like, oh, ah. I've hit up the edge of the forest a few times, but never walked in. No one would have brain goods there. What should I ask next? Cursed. Show stiffens like a board. I hate that supernatural crap. Just talking about it freaks me out. What a word. Rumors exist for a reason. That place is a famous suicide spot. Fifty people die there a year, so they say. That's just what they find. It's a lot of people. Once there was a mass suicide. It has its fair share of crystals. Show's eyes are wide, he looks like he swelled a bug. What should I ask next? Why were you there? It was obviously on my bike, man. The place is totally empty at night, so we quit for driving around. And you know what? This part's only got 50 minutes left to wait for the next part. Let's get the rest of the scene, okay? I'm gonna, you know, and then once we get to the end of the scene, I'm gonna save. Check Sukasa's file. And then, you know, reload the other one so we can cut back to the good route. So, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.